If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I love Rango. It showed up in the very first Dooley video, and I even called it the best movie ever until the end of time. Obviously I don't really believe that, but I do think that it's a very underrated film, one that should be brought up more often when discussing some of the best animated films of all time. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here for something much more important. Rango the World. Quote Variety, Paramount's Rango gets an online world. It's a dream come true. I, I could become Rango. But to my dismay, the Rango MMORPG was long gone. Lost media. Many who came before me could experience being Rango, yet I may never know such an incredible life. And so, here I stand today, guiding others to a treasure I cannot possess. This, my friends, is the Rango MMORPG. Okay, listen, I put a lot of work into that rigging video, so you're gonna listen to me talk about online games made for children for a bit. Between the 2000s and the early 2010s, there were a lot of these games. Browser-based MMORPGs that mainly just existed to advertise to kids. And as a kid, I played a lot of them. I played Virtual Magic Kingdom despite never even visiting Disneyland until literally last year. And I played a lot of Nictropolis, which was kind of Nickelodeon's own Virtual Magic Kingdom. Plus any other baby MMO you can think of, I played all of them. But I never played Rango the Worlds, and I find that so frustrating. A mix of nostalgia for a childhood filled with browser-based MMOs and a love for one of the greatest animated movies ever made is starkly contrasted by the fact that this game is lost media, and I never played it. Both Virtual Magic Kingdom and Nictropolis have tons of videos, screenshots, forum posts, down to the point where people have recreated the games themselves. But for Rango, nothing. So I want to take a quick look at what is out there and try to piece together what I can find into something comprehensible. And maybe we'll even figure out why such a weird thing as a Rango MMORPG exists. But first, I've got some posters I gotta put up. I'm super excited to say that my first ever sponsor is Displate. Displates are unique metal posters you can stick to your wall with magnets. No power tools needed. And y'all, videos cannot capture how good these look in person. I literally took close-up photos so I can try and show you how good the print quality is. I'm not kidding. Printing on metal has got to be part of it, because these straight up look better than the canvas and paper prints I have hanging up in my apartment. All these prints were super tightly packaged and shipped in just a few days from the European Union, and they're all hand signed and even hollow stamped for quality. They've got designs for pretty much every interest you can imagine, Spider-Verse, Sonic the Hedgehog, Avatar the Last Airbender, Skyrim, Dark Souls, and even if none of those strike your fancy, you can buy from individual artists like this one I've got here. All you've got to do is clean your wall, apply some sticky tape, stick the magnet on, and just hang it right up. It's super fast and you can always remove it later. I've actually handpicked a bunch of designs you can pick up by visiting my link in the description below, or by going to displate.com slash doodly, and use code doodly at checkout for a 22% discount off one or two designs, or an even bigger 33% discount off three or more designs. And of course, using my code helps me and the channel out by a lot. Seriously, thanks so much to Displate, they make incredible posters, and I'm super excited such a cool company supports what I do. Let's get back to the video. So what is Rango the World? Back in the 2010s, video game adaptations of animated movies were basically a requirement from the film's marketing team. Coraline for the PS2, Space Chimps for the Xbox 360, and of course, Rango for the Wii. Video games based on animated movies could be an entire video on its own, but I feel like it's important context because it isn't really a thing anymore. Yet in 2011, it was so normal that Rango got not just one, but two games released on the day of a movie that didn't even do that well at the box office. Rango being a Nickelodeon film, my best guess is that Nictropolis was doing well enough that they felt an MMO was a good advertising vehicle. Having played Nictropolis as a kid and looking at the very few videos that exist for the Rango MMO, they are very similar. But interestingly, Nictropolis doesn't share developers or an engine with Rango the World. And what exactly is the world part of Rango the World? From what I can find, Rango the World was developed by Funtactics, and by 2011 they were raising a lot of capital developing browser-based MMOs. The world in the title is actually copyright, and refers to, and I quote, a multi-year technology investment designed to create authentic online experiences with compelling characters and breathtaking visuals. It's a lot of corporate nonsense just to say that they can run pre-rendered 3D graphics in a browser-based Flash engine. It's not really anything remarkable, even back then. Virtual Magic Kingdom had shut down a couple years ago, and it was basically the same thing. But it was apparently enough to convince Paramount to sign a multi-year deal. 
and Rango was actually set to be the first of several animated movie tie-in games that used the technology they dubbed The World. Following Rango The World, you had New Boys The World. <laughs> Remember New Boys? Wait, this isn't a Paramount thing. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. The next game released was... Hey, wait a second. Yeah, they built an entire engine and signed a deal with Paramount, all to release Rango the World, and that's it. From their perspective, I do get it. This developer says, hey, we can make a game like this for all of your movies, and Paramount says, cool, go for it. But it tickles me that they only made Rango, New Boys, and then Paramount pieced out. <laughs> okay, okay. Enough of all the history lessons. Let's actually look at what's out there and piece together what this game is. As far as I can tell, there's effectively no videos out there uploaded by actual players. There's the trailer uploaded by the developers, and a few gameplay videos from IGN, and both of those offer probably the clearest look at the game out there. But what actually spurred this video in the first place was me stumbling across the Rango The World wiki. Why does this game have a wiki when there's so little information or discussion about it online? Who knows? But as far as I can tell, it is mostly written by one person, whose avatar appears in every screenshot. Jimbly Cakes. God bless you, Jimbly Cakes, you've basically documented this entire game's existence. Full disclosure, this wiki has been pretty heavily vandalized, and some pages could probably be considered not safe for work, so just know that before you visit it. And please don't vandalize it any more than it already is. That said, I do like this one little addition that I can only assume a child wrote. This game is based off the Titualer movie directed by Gore Verbitsky, Rango. Pretty good watch for a rainy day, IMO. Yeah, I agree. Anyways, what is here is probably the most comprehensive look at the game we've got. The wiki has most of the NPCs in the game and seemingly every location and item. The only thing it didn't seem to document was quests, achievements, and all the outfits you can buy. The NPCs and locations are all pulled from the movie, but they have some fun ideas. Like a bunch of the items are eyeballs, so all of them are located in the Bridge of the Eye, a scene from the movie. It's a loose connection, but it's cute. I also just want to say I really like these backgrounds, but I really like how they incorporate a lot of tiny objects into the world. Like this bed in the background is actually a vintage brand of spice tins, and I think that's really cute. From what I can gather from screenshots and videos, the actual gameplay worked like this. You talk to NPCs from the movie, get fetch quests, play minigames, and earn water, the in-game currency, and also XP for leveling up, which means that I get to call this an MMORPG, and you can't stop me. Fetch quests usually involve picking up items from around town and bringing it back to NPCs. All these items require energy to pick up, which you can see in this meter up here, probably to prevent players from blowing through the game too quickly. Leveling up unlocks new clothing items you can buy and raises your maximum energy so you can pick up items more often. It also lets you access new areas as you need to be a higher level to venture into areas further away from town. Any clothes you unlock can be purchased with water you earn from quests. And some of these clothes are really snazzy. Like I want to see Rango in these leopard print pants. Unfortunately, all the outfits aren't documented like the NPCs and areas. So this one gameplay video and the trailer are all I've seen of the clothes you can buy. The minigames seem to be all the usual flash games of the time, but they aren't well documented. There seems to be a Match 3, an Auto Runner, a Lunar Lander clone, but the only one with actual gameplay video is a bubble popping game that IGN chose to capture gameplay footage from and nothing else. And that's pretty much it in terms of gameplay. Hey, it's me from the future. Did you know this game had updates? And apparently you could decorate your own house? I couldn't find any info on this feature until way later in my research, like after I had already finished my script and recorded my voiceover, and it left me flabbergasted. The rest of the game didn't really impress me until now, it just seemed like busy work, but I genuinely love this feature, and it's criminal how much digging it took to find any information about it. They also added a new minigame similar to Peggle in a future update. And honestly, this minigame plus the room decoration and clothing unlocks probably would have got me playing. I also found out through a few reviews and some screenshots that the game had a membership you could buy. For $7 a month, you unlocked more rooms for your house and some unique items. I would genuinely love to meet someone who actually had a membership and spent money on this game because the concept of spending money on a Rango MMO is really funny to me. It's not entirely clear when the game had shut down, but the latest archives seem to point to 2014, and nobody seemed to be talking about the game going into 2012. It likely just faded away without much notice. So why am I talking about it? The game was basically just an advertisement for the movie, why make a whole video about it? Is it nostalgia for a childhood long past? 
Or maybe a longing for lost media no longer accessible? Well, you see, I just think the fact that there's a Rango MMORPG is really, really funny. That's it. Bye! <laughs>